Alright, folks, we're now going to do uh, Jeopardy for the Sega CD on the uh, console I got from uh, Aubrey. Yes. An early Christmas present, if you will. Now, I did not get the intro recorded on camera, but that's okay. Anyway, our Jeopardy round categories are historic homes, disco, sauces, country's former names, Salvador Dali, and Gimme 5. We have one daily double up there. Let's start with Gimme 5 for 100. Or $100. Of the five senses, the one that works outside of the head area, too. Uh, touch. You'll have 60 seconds to provide your response. Okay. Uh, oh, Wrong. shoot. How do I enter my response for this? What you do is you hit the A button. I tried. I couldn't put any letters in. Well, I know A is to ring in. Give me five for 200. The five W's of journalism. Who, what, where, when, and why. Yeah. Okay, there we go. I got it. Alright. And I should have 100, but... Uh, I uh, couldn't figure out how to do it on the first clue, so, oops. It's okay. First time jitters, folks. And... And we got it. Awesome. All right, let's stick with that category for three hundred dollars. The answer there is to remember the names of the five of these. Use the monomic homes. Uh, the Great Lakes. The Great Lakes. which I believe are Erie, Ontario, uh, Michigan, Huron, and Superior. Right. Yes. Great Lakes is correct. All right, and 400. Answer, the Daily Double. The blue? It's the Daily Double. The only one for this round, and we can risk up to 500. How much would you like to bet? Well, since I'm the only uh, player, let's uh, go for 500, shall we? Okay. All right. Don't get them. The only one of the five civilized tribes whose name didn't begin with C. Well, it wouldn't be Cherokee, because that starts with a C. I'm sorry. No. Nope. That's wrong. Oh. Or Shawnee. No, Shawnee would have been wrong, too. It was the Seminole. Seminole, oh yeah, from Florida, that's right. For $500. Not to worry. There were five Marx Brothers. Groucho, Harper, Chico, and these two. Zeppo was right, Gummo was the other one. Oh, okay. Alright, we're done with that category. Let's go with sauces for a hundred. Or one hundred dollars. Answer? Show us to you know, show you is the Japanese word for this sauce. Uh, soy sauce. Do I need to put both soy and sauce, or just soy? Uh, soy sauce, preferably. All right. Yes. 
Yes. There we go. Sauce is two hundred. Two hundred dollars. Choron sauce is a Bernays sauce that is tinted pink by adding this puree. Hmm. No, I'm not going to try. Tomato puree. Oh, tomato puree. Okay. All right. Well, let's try it again. Sauces for 300. For 300 dollars. Tomate mousseline sauce. Add, add whipped cream to this Dutch sauce. I think it's holidays. Well, that would make sense since, uh, for uh, Holland. Yeah, so you spell Holland normally and then add A I S E. Okay, so Holland and then A I S E. Yes. Hollandaise is correct. Yay! Alright, sauces for 400, please, Alex. For $400. Espanol sauce is also known as this color sauce. Neither do I. Brown sauce. I would have said red, but of course I would have been wrong. Sauce is five hundred. Five hundred dollars. The answer is. Bagarade sauce, usually served with duck, is flavored with this citrus fruit. Uh, orange. I think I've had orange uh, slices a couple of times. Okay, oranges. They need the plural form, and that's correct. That's correct. Alright, up to 800, and where are we gonna go now? Let's go disco, disco! For $100. Alright, for 100. Abba sang about a dancing one, hot chocolate about a disco one. McQueen. What is Queen? I think I've heard it too, it's very good. Alright, disco for 200. For 200 dollars. It's what Casey and the Sunshine Band wanted you to shake, 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 shake. Shake it, shake your booty, shake your booty. Oh, you know, at the end of the uh, Simpsons 138th episode, Spectacular, or whatever it was, they actually played that song in the end credits. Oh. Disco for 300. Yes, select again. For $300. This play that funky music group got its name from a flavor of cough drops. She recorded her first hit, Love to Love You Baby, in Germany. Ooh. If I were to take a guess, I'd say Donna Summer. That's a guess. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> but maybe we should have, because it was Donna Summer. Oh, well. That's okay, though. Disco for 500 for $500. Jumping on the disco bad bandwagon, she recorded the main event. Hmm. And it was Barbara Streisand. Okay, I think uh, it's time we went somewhere else. 
Uh, let's go with country's former names for a hundred. One hundred dollars. Persia. Yes. Yes. All right. Let's stick with that category for two hundred. Two hundred dollars. The answer is Ceylon. Yes. yes. Select again. For three hundred dollars. Abyssinia. Abyssinia. That's a bit of a hard one to pronounce. I got nothing on that one. Ethiopia. Oh, Ethiopia. Yep. All right. Uh, four hundred. For four hundred dollars. British Honduras. Well, let's see. No, it was Belize. Oh, Belize. That's right. All right, uh, let's finish the category. For $500. Dutch Guiana. Uh, Suriname. Yes. Yes. Select. Nineteen hundred dollars, and we have two categories left. Let's go with historic names a hundred, or, or historic homes a hundred, rather. Now a shrine and museum in Beauvoir in Biloxi was the last home of this Confederate president. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Oh, that's okay. I can finish on my own. It's no problem. Okay, but I hope you pull out the win. Well, I'm not playing against any computer opponents, so... Okay. And Jefferson Davis was the correct response. I'll catch you later. All right. For $200. Once belonging to merchant Archibald Gracie, Gracie Mansion is now home to this city's mayor. Uh... Oh, shoot. I have no idea. New York City. Historic homes for, for 300. Answer? Wren's Nest in Atlanta contains mementos of this former owner and creator of Uncle Remus. Hmm, I would say Walt Disney, but I don't know. Joel Chandler Harris. Alright, uh, historic homes for 400 For $400. Let's take a look at the answer. After the White House was set afire in 1814, this presidential couple moved to the nearby Octagon House. Ooh, I don't know. The Madisons. All right, let's finish the category. For five hundred dollars, the answer there is Baltimore House, a two hundred fifty room mansion in North Carolina, was built in the late eighteen hundreds by a grandson of this Commodore. Hmm, that I do not know.
Cornelius Vanderbilt. Alright, well, uh, let's uh, go with that last category since uh, it's the only one left. Oh, Salvador Dali 100. The answer there is... Upside down, Dolly's ashtray, the swan of Leda becomes this animal. The swan's neck becomes a trunk. Oh, if it becomes a trunk, then, uh... Well, then there's only one thing that would make sense. What is an elephant? Yes! Right. All right, 2000 I mean, 200 For $200. Here is the clue. Dolly's classified as part of this art movement, founded in 1924. Surrealism. All right, uh, 300 For three hundred dollars. One of the guiding forces in his work was this doctor's theory of the unconscious. Sigmund Freud. All right. For four hundred dollars. Dolly designed the dream sequence for this director's Spellbound. <laughs> Who's Alfred Hitchcock? $500. Dolly was born and died in the same town in this country. Uh, I would say India, but I have no idea. I'll try it anyway, though. No, it's not oh, India. I'm sorry, that's not right. Okay, what country were we looking for? Spain. Spain. Alright, so I finished the Jeopardy round with $1,500.